Iran will be admitted to the Shanghai Cooperation Organization this year. A memorandum on the country's obligations will be signed at the summit, which will take place from September 15th to 16th in Uzbekistan city of Samarkand. In a statement, Uzbekistan's acting foreign minister Vladimir Norov said, and I quote, This year, within Uzbekistan's chairmanship, Iran will be admitted to the SCO as an observer state. A memorandum on Iran's obligations as an SCO member will also be signed. Iran's bid to become a member of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, or SCO, was approved after almost 15 years. It is now formally a part of a group that accounts for about one-third of the world's land and exports trillions of dollars annually. Apart from Iran, there are three other observer states that are part of the SCO currently. These are Afghanistan, Belarus and Mongolia. The SCO was founded in Shanghai in 2001 by the leaders of Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, Russia and China in 2001. But the full-fledged membership has since then been expanded to eight states. In the year 2017, the status of a full member of the organization was also granted to India and Pakistan. The grouping initially focused on regional security, including border conflicts and terrorism. However, its activities have now expanded to cover economics, trade, transport and law enforcement. And for more details on this, our correspondent Sidhan Sibyl sends us this report. Take a look. Shanghai Cooperation Organization or SCO, which is already a large grouping uh, in terms of geography and population, is all set to become even much larger organization in terms of addition of new members. This time it is Iran. The process started last year in Tajikistan and uh, we will see another member being added to Iran during this year's summit that will take place in Uzbekistan's Samarkand uh, city in the month of September. Now, uh, we know that Iran has also said that it's keen to be part of the BRICS as well. Uh, it has voiced uh, its, its keenness to be part of BRICS. But uh, if we talk about SEO, uh, this is a grouping which which uh, almost has 60% of the Eurasian landmass, uh, the 40% of uh, the, glo uh, the population uh, globally, uh, including, of course, two of the most populous countries in the world, India and China, as its members. So it adds to its weightage, uh, growing a cloud as well uh, in the region and, uh, of course, globally as well. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.